G'day Ziggy D here and today I want to tell you about one of my personal favourite lesser known indie games. If Path of Exile was a roguelike, single screen shoot 'em up, then it'd be Nova Drift. Space shoot 'em ups like this are not normally my cup of tea, but the depth of crazy builds and playstyles you can invent in this game are staggering. The developer Chimeric was heavily inspired by Path of Exile, in particular the ways in which you can dramatically alter a skill's functionality with support gems, and the way you can alter a build dramatically with keystone passive skills. In Nova Drift, you can take a simple projectile skill and make it a burst fire machine gun, or a homing missile, a long range skill, a close range skill, add explosions, splintering projectiles, ignite damage over time, knockback, reverse knockback, and almost anything else you could think of for modifying a projectile. There's a wide array of weapons from railguns to poison darts to flak cannons and missile launchers, and there's an even wider range of modifiers you can take to change those weapons and how they function. And then on top of that, you've also got a wide range of shield types, hull types, and even constructs if you want to play a minion build, or mines, or how about mines that shoot your weapon when they detonate. You can even take a construct summoner in this game and remove your ship's shield and give it to your minions instead, and then stack that shield up with retaliation effects that explode, zap, or otherwise destroy your enemies whenever your minions are attacked. And yeah, you can even play ramming builds. The way the game works is pretty simple at its core and I think therein lies some of the beauty. You just kill enemies and pick up XP bubbles to level up. The first three levels you pick a weapon, a shield and a hull type, and then each level from then on you get a random selection of talents to modify your build, weapon and shields, defenses and so on. You get rerolls that you can use each level as well so you can have some influence over the RNG but you never really know what build you'll end up with sometimes and you just kind of have to go with the flow and sometimes that's how the best builds are made as well. Now Nova Drift is a roguelike, so you just go as far as you can with your build that you invented on the fly, and then you die horribly. After dying you get progress towards unlocking even more modifiers that you can take in future runs. Things start simpler and get progressively more insane as you play the game more and more. There's even game mode modifiers you unlock that increase the difficulty but increase score and XP gained. The average run of Nova Drift goes from between 5 to 30 minutes, depending on how good your ends up being. My best was something like an hour long run as a dedicated ramming build stacking thick defenses so I could just collide with enemies to kill them. And my second longest run was a completely different build, it was like an insane zoo summoner build. I think what makes Nova Drift special is it takes a lot of what makes Path of Exile great in making very clever builds that have interesting interactions, and then distills that down to a much shorter time frame. Which, what that ends up meaning is that after every run I always feel pretty eager to start a new run and explore a new build because, I mean, you never really know what the next build will be and whether you'll discover some crazy new skill and modifier interactions. Overall, it's just a great little game, well worth the asking price for the hours you can easily sink into it. After I fell in love with Nova Drift, I ended up asking the developer to add the game to my official store and they agreed, so a Nova Drift Steam key can be purchased through there if you like, which supports both me and the developer directly. The game's currently in early access, though it feels like a pretty finished product at this point. Mainly the dev is looking to add more game modes, like a drafting mode which I'm very excited to see added. I highly recommend picking up the game wherever you decide to buy it though. The dev's fantastic and it's a lot of fun breaking their game with busted builds. Anyway folks, that's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.